There was this king sleeping in his garden all alone when his brother in his ear dropped a wee bit of poison. He stole his brother's crown and his money and his widow, but the dead king walked unto his son and said, Now listen, kiddo, I've been killed and it's your duty to take revenge on Claudius. So kill him quick and clean and show the nation what a fraud he is. The boy said, Right, I'll do it, but I'll have to play it crafty. And so nobody will suspect me, I'll get on that I'm a dafty. So to all except Horatio, whom he trusts as a friend, Hamlet, that's a boy, he kids on, he's round the bun, and because he wasn't ready for obligatory killing, he tries to make the king think he was tuppence off the shilling, took the mickey out of Polonius, and treated poor Ophelia vile, told Rosencrantz and Guildenstern that Denmark was a jail. Then a troop of travelling actors like 784 arrived to do a special one-night gig in Elsinore. Hamlet, Hamlet, loved his mommy. Hamlet, Hamlet, acting barmy. Hamlet, Hamlet, hesitating. Wonders if the ghosts are cheating, that is why he's waiting. So Hamlet writes a scene for the players to enact, so Horatio and him could watch to see if Claudius cracked. The play was called The Mouse Trap, not the one that's running now. And sure enough, the kings walked out before the final bow. So Hamlet got the proof that Claudius gave his damn dad the dose, the only problem being now that Claudius knows he knows. Well, Hamlet tells his mommy her new husband's not a fit one. Uncle Claude puts out a contract with the English king's hitmen. When Hamlet killed Polonius, the concealed corpus delecti was the king's excuse to send him for an English hemp and necktie with Rosencrantz and Guildenstern to make sure that he'd get there. But Hamlet jumped the boat and put the finger on that pair. Then Laertes heard his dad had been stabbed through the arras. He came racing back to Elsinore to sweet hot foot from Paris. Ophelia with her dad killed by the man she wished to marry. After saying it with flowers, she committed harikari. Hamlet, Hamlet, there's no messin'. Hamlet, Hamlet, learned his lesson. Hamlet, Hamlet, your ex crossed. Convinced him that men, good or bad, at last returned to dust. Then Laertes lost his place and was demanded retribution, but the king said, keep your head, I'll provide you with a solution. So he arranged a sword fight for the interested parties, with a blunt sword for Hamlet and a sharp sword for Laertes. To make things double sure, the old belt and braces line, he fixed a poison sword tip and a poison cup of wine. The poison sword got Hamlet, but Laertes went and muffed it, cause he got himself stabbed and he confessed before he snuffed it. Then Hamlet's mummy drank the wine, and as her face turned blue, Hamlet said, I quite believe the king's a baddie now. Incestuous, treacherous, damn dame, he said to be precise, and made up for hesitating by killing Claudius twice, cause he stabbed him with the sword and forced the wine between his lips. He said the rest is silence, that's Hamlet's had his chips. They fired a volley over him that shook the topmost rafters, and fought and brass knee deep in days lived happily ever after. Hamlet, Hamlet, oh the gory, Hamlet, Hamlet, end of story, Hamlet, Hamlet, I'm away, and if you think that this is boring, you should read the bloody play.